843. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. We are in early morning weather alert mode for this afternoon and this evening. A couple of sprinkles out there this morning. Not too much of a big deal on our only live Doppler radar in the state. Uh, early morning dew pole radar. Visibility at a 10 this morning. We've got no fog out there to greet you. A little bit of cloud coverage. Uh, the moon is out there. The remnants of that full sturgeon moon. You can see again those couple of sprinkles. But I'm uh, watching this line, this very active line of showers and thunderstorms pushing through parts of upstate New York right on into Massachusetts. But it is tending to weaken as it does and that will remain to the north of us. It's the energy behind that system that we're talking about for later this afternoon through this evening. That cold front that's going to be barreling into the state. So again, isolated strong to severe storms are possible with winds gusting in excess of 40 to 50, even 60 miles an hour in some of these embedded thunderstorms. Lightning, hail, torrential rain, flooding is all a possibility. The severe threat today, we're at level one, which is, it's never good when you're at any level. We're at level one for a good swath of uh, landscape here. Level two for Northwest Connecticut, right up in the corner there, Salisbury, you guys are in the mix for level two, uh, the potential for some strong storms. They should tend to weaken as they move across the state, but we still have to contend with uh, a pretty good amount of uh, rain. You'll see we're at level one for excessive rain during the day today. That's for later on this afternoon through this evening. All right, Old Saybrook, not a bad eye cam shot this morning. Uh, New Haven, the grass is green there, all the rain that we've had. Look at the temperature. 75 degrees in New Haven this morning. That's pretty remarkable. Typical overnight low 63. At the beginning of the week, it was 58. Now it's 75. What a difference a couple of days makes, right? It's humid out there this morning. 68 degrees in Hartford. Good morning. It's a little breezy out there, as Marcy Jones was talking about. Mystic, good morning to you. Nice and quiet and tranquil there in Mystic. Temperatures across the board are all above average. Mid 60s, 65 in Willimantic. 64 is the coolest I can find right now in Torrington and in Salisbury. That is pretty close to average. Remember again, 63, the typical overnight low for this time of year and this time of morning. We're at 75 amazing degrees again in New Haven. We're up substantially from yesterday, anywhere from 7 to 14 degrees. Yesterday was cool and delightful. This morning it's muggy and it's mild. All right, the winds are out of the south and that's the way they're going to be during the day today until the front moves through. And then once that front passes through around midnight tonight, those winds will shift out of the north and west and that'll provide us with a pretty good weekend. Do Points, unfortunately, are up in the low 60s, some upper 50s, low 60s, so it is a tad on the muggy side out there. And you'll notice the dew point trend. It's going to come down for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, beautiful weather. Monday into Tuesday, it starts creeping up as we have a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday morning. Here's the temperature trend today, 73, 74 by about 9 o'clock this morning with partial sunshine. Temperature trend for inland Connecticut, you'll notice 76. Notice the icon. They go over to mostly cloudy by noon, so we should be under partly to mostly cloudy skies by about noontime today with temperatures in the mid-70s. Right, let's take a look at early morning future cast. It is tomorrow's weather today. This is what you've all been waiting for, and here we go. You'll notice right around 6 p.m., scattered showers and thunderstorms start developing. This is... Ugh. This is not good at 8 o'clock tonight. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong to severe. This is 9 o'clock tonight, not too particularly great for southeast Connecticut. And then by 11 o'clock, the entire system is done. It is to our east. We'll get that northwesterly flow, and things will start to get a whole lot better. In the meantime, today's daytime highs climb into the low 80s, humid evening, uh, late afternoon and evening storms. And then the weekend looks amazing. Monday night into Tuesday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then Wednesday and Thursday, we're talking about temperatures in the mid-80s. Delightful weather with temperatures pretty close to normal. But again, today, early warning weather alert. We're giving you that heads up that there is some active weather headed in our direction for this afternoon and this evening. All right, I'll be back in less than 10 to show you the